My name is Miley, and uh, I work for an open source project called WordMatch. So we are using WebAssembly on the server side. Uh, WordMatch is like a container. You can imagine it as a, as a Docker, but it's like um, on a higher, uh, more abstract level, like a process level. So WordMatch is under CNCF, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And, um, and so today, I'm going to talk about um, empower AI education with RAG and building domain-specific um, agent for enhanced learning. So when you think of AI education, you can um, think of it as a, a teaching AI, like educate yourself with AI or like, um, or using AI in, in general education. So I will touch on both of that. Um, yeah, let's start. So yeah, that's a few topics I'm going to talk about. Uh, so I want to start my talk with, uh, actually it's a very big news um, recently. Uh, maybe uh, you have, uh, I'm not sure if you have heard it, but it's an international mathematic challenge. Um, so this girl, she only has a, uh, is doing a diploma in a vocational school, uh, in a very not well-known school, but and she has got uh, ranked number nine in the global mathematic competition hosted by Alibaba. And uh, also, and all these um, competitors are competing with AI as well. Like, they have a specific uh, separate AI track, so you can um, use AI to attend. But uh, you need to be very clear and uh, open source everything, so like, um, if you uh, attend as AI, you need to uh, kind of um, list everything you, all the tools that you you are gonna uh, use in advance. But but so um, but actually, the highest score um, any AI competitor um, got is only thirty four point. Uh, but this girl has got ninety something. So, uh, which rank number nine? And uh, she, uh, so the reason why her talents got um, discovered is because um, her teacher happens to be a very um, uh, uh, enthusiast about mathematics. Like he is very passionate about mathematics, so he uh, entered the competition for many years, and then. Later, she discovered that the girl has a very a good talent for the uh, for mathematics. So she, he taught her some uh, to learn uh, and give her a lot of guidance. But and this shows that even a girl um, doing design major in a um, vocational school, um, if her talent is not um, like discovered or guide, guided well, um, like we can imagine there must be a lot of uh, other um, undiscovered talents. So I, we, we think um, with uh, a progress of AI, I think these talents undiscovered like her should um, um, play full to their advantage and uh, uh, get educated better. So, um, yeah, we um, do have a lot of challenges when we um, see AI education, like the things that I've listed, the information overload, and uh, uh, difficulty in finding relevant information. So if you kind of, um, want to learn something and you can, you can be like struggling to find the correct resources and the guidance if you're not as lucky as that girl who has a, a teacher who are passionate about mathematics. But I, I think with the help of AI, so in the future maybe you can also do it by yourself even though you don't have a teacher like hers. So, um, and also there's a gap between 
a general pro purpose LLM and specific needs. Um, and also you might not even uh, know how to start to uh, ask questions to the large language model. Um, and also for general education, there can be uh, some challenges like um, there are, um, so uh, what a case that we are familiar with is that in UC Berkeley, they have a, a shortage of teaching assistant and uh, uh, because uh, because of some uh, layoffs, they like they are even more um, shorthanded. So um, I think they did the layoff because of the budget, but um, with the help of uh, um, AI, uh, like or uh, RAG powered large language model teaching assistants, they can help with the. Sh a shorthanded issue in, in the university. And uh, also um, in the US and uh, um, the world, there are a big sh shortage of STEM teachers in K-12 school. Uh, so um, for a large language model agent, it can be a teaching assistant. Um, so this is the first case that we are familiar with because they are using uh, our tech stack because we are open source and they, they can use it for free to um, to train uh, to have their own teaching assistant to help the students and the rest is like some uh, chemistry uh, teacher or like customer support or a social influencer or tour guide or life coach um, so uh, for for the UC Berkeley case that I mentioned, we used uh, a base 30 billion parameter model uh, and fine tuned on the subject uh, question and answer set for teacher with students of uh, various backgrounds. And uh, then uh, it can be used to teach the a student who has uh, no previous coding experience to learn about how to code. And uh, uh, apart from the uh, tiny, uh, small fine tuning, we ha also have uh, embedded some knowledge uh, base to, um, with the textbook to, and also teaching assistant notes to uh, help improve the performance of this bot. And, uh, um, so, yeah, I will give you demos to show you how it's done. So, um, a rag is to use uh, the knowledge base and the, um, like the past course notes or TA's notes to um, turn the uh, materials into vector database and embed it, uh, to make it into embeddings to help the, uh, to, to add on top of the, of the uh, LLM to help it perform better and answer the uh, student questions accurately. So it uh, combines the power of uh, retrieval mechanism with uh, LLM to produce uh, relevant output and uh, making AI more accessible to everyone. Um, so um, that's some advantages of um, using self-hosted AI service instead of OpenAI or um, AI, other AI services provided by big techs like um, Google. So um, I think we are all quite familiar with that. Uh, it, it, if you host your own large language model service, it's, it wouldn't have any censorship or security and privacy strict rules or uh, also you can have a uh, good customization with that and um, uh, you can also control it and have the uh, data like if the data is sensitive to yourself or it's a proprietary data it's better that you host the LLM service yourself and also if you are using uh, and calling, calling the uh, large language model service a lot uh, the API uh, cost, uh, cost, the fee can be quite high 
for like very advanced uh, AI models like GPT-4. So if, and also we, uh, we can see some benchmarks about an open source large language model catching up with the performance of uh, closed source ones like GPT-4. So it's um, see, uh, also for open source large language model it's free. So um, that's why we do think it's better to use open source large language model to self-host your own large language model service. So um, the first approach we used is uh, uh, is this tech, tech stack called uh, Llama Edge. It's built on top of uh, uh, Edge I mentioned. So um, uh, we are using WebAssembly for AI inference. Uh, so the reason why is because WebAssembly, um, it's, uh, I listed Rust because it's best supported, but WebAssembly is actually a polyglot. You can uh, you can uh, compile other uh, programming languages to WebAssembly as well, and it's very uh, portable and high perf performance. And uh, um, so, compa com ca compare with uh, using Python, and you, it's like uh, ten times or one hundred times smaller, and uh, it's containerized, which means. Um, you can also orchestrate it with the like Kubernetes or some other orchestration tools, um, like orchestrating it like a normal Linux container. And also it's secure. So um, that, this kind of isolation is really similar to uh, that provided by Docker, but it's achieved uh, at, uh, the, at the uh, application binary level. and. Uh, Hence, it would have uh, lower overhead and uh, tighter security controls. So it's very fine-grained um, security, and you need to declare that uh, certain uh, access to certain resources. Otherwise, it does, wouldn't have any access. And um, WebAssembly is also the top mentioned keyword during uh, the KubeCon happened in March, in late March. It's the top mentioned keyword during KubeCon 2024. You can see the first bar. So it's much more uh, mentioned than other keywords during KubeCon. And uh, um, on the right is a quote by um, Cognitive, Com Cognitive Computing Foundation's CTO, Chris. So he says, uh, what Wasm combines with, combined with CNCF project uh, is the best runtime for large language models. So um, I want to stress about portability because um, this would eliminate the need for multiple code base or um, complex cross course compilation for um, uh, because it, like cross compilation might be often required for AI applications. So with, uh, if you use WebAssembly, it's completely cross platform and you don't have to do any kind of modification to the code, and the developers can build and train their AI models on their preferred platform like your Mac. And once you have uh, uh, see it working on your Mac, you can deploy it across any GPUs or like cloud computing environments without any change. And it must, it should, it it will work. And so Llama Edge, you. Some people might see it a little bit like Olama, but it's not, because with, um, with language you cannot. It does not only support large language model, but it also support uh, AI models like um, OpenVINO and others. So it's more like a developer platform, and. Uh, uh, you can use it to build a single portable and deployable app and uh, move uh, your codes uh, closer to your model and data and improve the efficiency and the security. So with that, there is no uh, Python dependency and uh, you, can use, you can extend the components uh, with JavaScript as well. And, uh, uh, it's 
can give you an OpenAI compatible API um, that you can call in your own AI application. Uh, so yeah, I have already mentioned some of this. So it's lightweight and fast. So the entire runtime plus the uh, API server is uh, very small. And um, you can uh, try it with any uh, open source large language model on Hugging Face or any your own fine tuned large language model. Uh, you can uh, like uh, we, so this is a command that we can uh, give a try on my ter terminal to allow you to see how it works. So this would be, um, sorry. Yeah, let me, so this is a chat app that you can chat with your um, large language model on your Mac. So yeah, with this, uh, of course, I have already installed um, two WASM files that one is WASM at wrong time and the other is the chat app. So with that two WASM file installed, you can use this one single command. Oh, of course, you need, also need to download the Lama 27B um, model itself. Um, so with this one single command, you can chat with it on your Mac. So let's ask some question, maybe something about, um, do you have some question you want to ask? Like, duck comfy. Do you like uh, duck comfy? Hmm. Shoot. Uh, so the first, uh, it need to load the model into the memory, so the first answer might be slower. Okay. I don't have personal preferences, okay. Yeah, I will show you how it's down. Uh, yeah, I will exit it now, and I will show you in our late demo how it's so yeah, um, let me present a view. Okay. Um, so yeah, the uh, that's uh, my machine on the left. So it's a very old one. Uh, it's not doesn't even have an M1 uh, chip. So it's an Intel chip, and the memory is 16 gigabytes. And uh, I will show the co portability by uh, copy it into a remote machine of uh, in our office back in Asia. So um, to see it's like fully port portable and it completely works. So yeah, let me, yeah, the demo. So the demo should be um, first you install was the match and then you install uh, API server app it's also a WASM file, and then you run the command. Oh, also you need to download the model itself. So uh, the next uh, um, open source large language model we are gonna try is Gemma 2B. Um, so the, uh, the 4096 uh, is the context lens at the end. So, um, yeah, since I've already downloaded the first two steps and also the large language model, I will just uh, try this um, Gemma2 model by typing in this command. Okay, so this one is an API server. so. The one I showed you just now is like a chat uh, inside your terminal, but uh, let me open the local host ADID. So you 
guys have any questions you want to ask? Okay. Oh, no, I mean for the large language model. <laughs> maybe later. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, what is the best bar in Paris? <laughs> Determining the best bar in Paris is subjective. And if, okay, okay, it doesn't recommend it some, but I, I don't think it's reliable though. It can like mix things up. Yeah, maybe if we add some rag uh, onto it, it might give better answers, but uh, I don't know. I cannot verify whether it's correct. Yeah, so um, cause it's, it's completely offline running on my own uh, Mac. Yeah, let me go back to my slides. Oh, why is it so small? Okay. Um, yeah, so now let me copy the water map to uh, NVIDIA device that is remotely host um, in our office in Asia to see if it works. Um, so I think I need to like terminate this and then um, let's see. CP. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, so it's copying this uh, Llama API server dot wasm file to the remote NVIDIA machine, a JSON Orin. It's a very small app, so it's, it should be fast. Um, yeah, so let me go to the media machine. So I'm going, I Enter the NVIDIA machine. Okay. Yeah. Let, so since it's copied to this, oh, I need to go to, because the models should be downloaded as well. So I need to go to the file that has the model itself. So it should be. Okay, yeah, let us try the same command. Yeah, it works. So then, um, it should let me refresh. Eh? Oh, um, Why it doesn't work? Sorry? Oh, right, right. Um, uh, what, what should I put though? Uh, 
Yeah. Um, because APSL is running on, on Jetson, so um, if we uh, open the local host, uh, it is on, the, on this machine, it doesn't work. So I'm going to uh, fix this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can. In a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can go on with, uh, maybe come back later. Go on with the slides. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, so, um, Uh, so uh, by doing this, we kind of separated dev uh, with ops, and um, I think I'm kind of running out of time. Let, let me. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so we use different languages to create uh, the apps, and because WebAssembly support multiple uh, languages. And uh, would, uh, you would only need to call the uh, Wasm Edge API, but because um, Wasm Edge uh, itself has abstracted away uh, all the underlying uh, differences of the uh, different operating systems and uh, um, hardwares. So uh, the Wasm Edge Inference API is based on uh, WCC's what. Was the and standard? Was the and stand for WebAssembly System Interface Neural Network? So uh, it kind of allow you to. Uh, it tells the SDK to like um, load a model and do the inference, and uh, the developers would only need to write application towards the API. So um, once the, the application is compiled into WebAssembly, the developer's job uh, is done, and uh, he can ship the application anywhere that he wants and let the runtime do the job. And uh, yeah, uh, and also like ops would uh, be uh, you just uh, install Wasm Edge with the large language model plugin and run the Wasm binary. And the Wasm Edge itself is a security sandbox I mentioned already. It can be orchestrated by Kubernetes, uh, Docker, and OpenShift. And uh, yeah, that's uh, some underlying um, uh, infra that we uh, support. And uh, also more than large language models, the, the, uh, these are the other, and you can add more. And because we are open source projects, you can always contribute. And uh, um, yeah, uh, you can also uh, use Lanchain or Llama Index, or like um, uh, and create a rag bot. So yeah, the second approach of building a rag uh, would be using Gannet. It's even simpler. It you run one command. Um, so Gannet is an end user of uh, Wasm Edge, and uh, you can. Um, you, it's fully, uh, you can ha so once you run, you get it running, you can replace it with your OpenAI API. And uh, um, it's already a public domain, and you can also chat with it on the, your chatbot on the web. So uh, I think I don't have too much time for the real demo, but I, I, I will walk you through by and talking to you how to how it's done, so just you just run this one single command and you can start the node, and you, you will have a OpenAI uh, replaceable OpenAI alternative um, OpenAI API alternative to replace your OpenAI API, and it will be free and is more customizable with your own uh, knowledge base. So yeah, um, 
So, for example, if you have a, a book that you write and it's like a private book that you haven't shared with the public, you can like turn the text text file into with this uh, web tool uh, into um, a, into embeddings, and uh, um, then you can just. Uh, 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 so the demo should be, let me, yeah, so you, you replace your own current API setting with Garnet's model details. So that's some endpoint URL that it can be used to replace uh, on your OpenAI API. Um, so I prepared, because we don't have time, but I, uh, I prepared with a text file, uh, I used uh, Little Prince. Uh, the novel to like, uh, so that's this um, web tool. So I download, uh, yeah, so this tool. So I download uh, the text file of Little Prince. And so this, this is, uh, this is it, Little Prince. And then I put it into this, uh, so I upload it and it will give you some parameters that you can use to, re it will be three parameters you need, you can use to replace this JSON, uh, configured JSON file, and then you would have your own knowledge and embedding um, in the, uh, to, to add as a, rag, as a rag to your large language model. So, so this one is not actually, um, not, not Little Prince, the novel, but, uh, I used another book called uh, uh, Neville's Armor Neck. It's, uh, it's like about how to get su successful. So this one is the snapshot of the embedding. It's, it's the book Neville, uh, Neville's Armor Neck. And uh, I can show you how it's, it performs um, by running also simple commands. Um, the command should be Gaia net. Um, sorry, this one. So just run this command. Um, just run this command and then Okay, and then you should be able to chat with uh, that book, uh, that book powered um, large language model that you choose. So this one we choose, um, we chose uh, Llama 3, 7B. You can see from the configure file, uh, config JSON file, the model is uh, Llama 3B. Uh, Lama 38B, sorry. Um, yeah, then you type Gaia net start. So you should have a public URL and also a local host um, page that you can talk, talk to the large language model. It also needs to wait a few minutes. Yeah, uh, while we wait, when I will finish with my slides, it's only a few left. So, um, why is uh, it so slow? Okay, oh yeah, oh okay, maybe come back later. Oh yeah, it should be working. It should be working here at this, um, at this. So maybe we, Ask another question. So this is uh, powered by the book. By uh, it's called his name's Naval Naval Rick something. I, I I don't know how to pronounce. But um, how uh, maybe ask question about how to um, be competitive as a developer.
again say yeah Uh, so yeah, because he's powered by the oh, how how to pronounce his last name? Navo Navo Ravikant. Yeah, that that's the book the book author. It's uh, Navo Armanac. That's the book I fed uh, with the rag. So, yeah. Um, the first question is also slower, uh, but if you ask follow-up question, it should be faster. And also because my Mac is kind of old, so yeah. Um, yeah, it should. Yeah, let me finish with my last few slides. Yeah, let me see if I oh, maybe not too relevant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, last I want to mention that because we are open source project and we all always welcome students or like anyone who is interested to uh, contribute. Uh, I mentioned student because we have this mentorship, it's like internship program supported by Linux Foundation. And every year we have three terms and each term we would have four mentees and with a mentor to help them. So if you are, are interested, you can always apply by a complete uh, by looking up the issues and completing our pre-tasks. And um, also we have this, uh, if you are become a new contributor, you can get a voucher to claim a Linux Foundation training course or exam. Um, yeah, that's our um, GitHub repo. And we are hosted under Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And that's some uh, GitHub repo I mentioned. And um, yeah, that's uh, my Twitter handle and GitHub handle. And on the right is today, we, we are also have uh, together with Olama and Docker some talks at this uh, Station F. Uh, yeah, if you are interested, you can go. And uh, this is in August that uh, I'm the co-chair for this event. So you're welcome to um, attend. And the, uh, it's, it's the last few hours to get a discount ticket. Yeah, I guess that would be it. Thank you.